It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. Welcome again to Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny shot of daily crypto news. I'm your host, Andrew, and let's just go. First up, except Dogecoin initially caused controversy after Dogecoin's creator Billy Marcus accused the token of stealing its trademarks. Then Twitter users began claiming that the altcoin project's lead organizer was a convict who had kidnapped and robbed a woman at gunpoint in 2011. Speaking to CoinMarketCap, Miles Watkins, known as Miles G Investments, confirmed that the speculation about his criminal past was true. Admitting that he made a mistake that hurt many people, he said, I was young, immature, on drugs, and had no direction in life. Except Dogecoin's site has now shut down and its Twitter account has been deleted. It plans to relaunch as a project designed to encourage businesses to accept all cryptocurrencies as payment methods. El Salvador has suffered a big setback in its ambitious plans to build Bitcoin City after it was confirmed that the release of so-called volcano bonds has been delayed. President Nayib Bukele wants to raise $1 billion by selling the bonds with half invested into Bitcoin and the other half spent on infrastructure so crypto can be mined using geothermal energy. In an interview with a local television station, Finance Minister Alejandro Zalaya blamed the uncertainty that has arisen from Russia's invasion of Ukraine and said that Salvadorian officials want to wait until market conditions are more favorable. It's hoped the volcano bonds will hit the market by September at the latest. Back in November, President Bukele said Bitcoin City would be the shape of a large coin, and everything from residential areas to shops, bars, and railways would be devoted to Bitcoin. Amita Bachan has paid a tax bill worth more than $131,000 that's linked to NFT collections that he launched last year. The Bollywood star was handed an evasion notice by Indian tax officials, and it's believed their investigation will continue. The 79-year-old was the first Indian actor to embrace NFTs, and his collection broke sales records. Bachan's range of NFTs include the actor reciting Madhushala, a famous series of poems that were written by his father. India is preparing to introduce a tougher tax regime for NFTs and cryptocurrencies within months. And finally, Crypto.com has been unveiled as a sponsor for this year's FIFA World Cup in Qatar. In one of the highest profile deals to date, the exchange will benefit from significant branding exposure both within and outside the tournament stadiums, the sporting body said. Crypto.com is set to give its users the chance to attend matches when the World Cup begins in November and win exclusive merchandise, a sign that non-fungible tokens are likely going to be thrown into the mix. In other developments, the National Football League has announced that it's relaxing the rules for teams seeking sponsorships for firms in the digital assets space. They'll now be allowed to enter into partnerships with blockchain companies but cannot directly promote crypto. But there's something that I can directly promote. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And yes, Alex, you're getting a promotion too. Ask Alex in the description below if you want more info on today's stories or crypto in general. Again, I've been your host Andrew, this has been your news, and we'll see ya tomorrow.